Hi, I'm Jen Moore from RUCDR Infinite Biologics. I'm the Associate Director of our Stem Cell Lab. In order to ensure that our iPSCs are high quality, we have a series of quality control assays that we run before we release the cells. And these include assays for microbiological contamination, also assays to ensure pluripotency and the ability to differentiate into all three germ layers. We decided to use the HPSC scorecard assay because it provides very quantitative results and because it's faster and less expensive than some of the standard assays that are used to determine pluripotency. So one of the great things about the scorecard is that it has a reference set of information that you actually compare your results to. This is very important because in various labs, stem cells are grown using different conditions, using different medium. Everybody has a slightly different ways of doing things. So if everybody is comparing their results to a reference, it makes everybody's results directly comparable, which is something that the field is lacking. So the teratoma, which is the uh, standard assay that people use to show their cells uh, can differentiate into all three germ layers, is very time consuming and very expensive. So the a great advantage of the scorecard is that you get your results within a couple days. I thought one of the great things about the scorecard was the software interface. It's very easy to use. It's available on any computer you happen to be on since it's cloud-based, so that's really convenient. The power in the scorecard particularly is in the reference assay and being able to compare uh, data across labs. So the more people that use it, uh, the more powerful it becomes. Thank you.